All right, let's create some formula field. So we are going to focus on the opportunity object. The first formula field we are going to create is a commission field. So the commission returns a currency, which is money, money type currency. And the formula would be simple, just 10% of the amount of the opportunity. So amount multiplied by 0 0.1, which is 10%. That's simple math. Okay, let's go ahead to our setup. So we are on our Trailhead Playground. Let's go ahead to Object Manager and search for Opportunity. Fields and Relationships. New. So the data type, we want to return currency. No, it's a formula field. My mistake. So it's a formula field, but it's going to return a currency field. So I'm going to say commission here. Um, yep, that's spelled right, right? I think so. Let me just copy that just to make sure. And it's going to return a currency. How many decimals? We'll, we'll see. Uh, does it say how many decimals? It doesn't say. But let's keep it two decimal point. Decimal point, two decimal. I'm going to go next. So here is where we can actually put um, the formula. So you can just put amount um, multiplied by 0 0.1 like so. But you can choose a uh, merge field here. I always use the advanced formula because you can choose the field better like that. So, so for example, you want to grab the amount field. So opportunity amount, right? Insert. Well, that's the same thing. And then you just multiply it um, by 0 0.1. You can also insert operator here. But I always just use my keyboard unless you have a weird keyboard that's not basic US English or Canadian English keyboard, if you have, you know, some other type of keyboard that might generate uh, weird keys, then you can use this. But most of the time, I'm just using my keyboard and that's fine. So amount times 0 0.1, you can check syntax whenever you are writing a formula, make sure it's green. So no syntax errors there. If there is a syntax error, it will say. So do we have to put some description or yeah. I'm going to copy the description there. Also the help text. Make sure I don't have extra lines there. The help text. Copy that. This will help the user when using, uh, you know, the field and see what is this for? Sales rep commission when opportunity is one. Okay. So I'm going to keep that and I'm going to hit next. Now who can see this? Let's make it visible for everybody unless it says to make it visible for, okay. So we want to deselect the checkbox to clear. So this is only for sales user and sys admin. So this is wrong. Uncheck everybody. So sales user can see this formula. System administrator can see this formula. Everybody else, they won't see this formula field. And do we want to put it on the page layout. Yeah, I think we do. So I'm going to hit save. So our first formula is done. Next, modify the formula so that the commission is only calculated when an opportunity is closed one. Okay. Basically, this is the formula. I'm just going to copy and explain it to you. I'm going to copy that. Okay. And Let's edit that commission formula. Click there and modify. You can edit there. So instead, just calculating 10% for everything, all opportunities, we want to only calculate it when the stage is closed one. So this is is pick list value for the stage name equals close one. So how do you know how to use this particular function is pick val. You can find from here is pick val. So you can change this to logical. Is blank is now 
well not logical probably text yeah there is speak well is speak well pick list field and then comma text literal checks whether the value of a pick list field is equal to a string literal so it's checking if the stage name value equals closed one right if it's so then do the next statement here right because it's an if if this is true right if this is true do this part if this is not true or false just return zero how do you know that jimmy so it's a logical statement if you go to if statement here if you go to if you can read here right so if logical even if you put like an if um, statement insert selected function here we are on if boom see if logical test so this is the logical test right this is the logical test is the pick list value of the stage name equals close one yes so value is if true so if it's true the value is 10 percent if it's false it's zero okay so that's that so i'm going to now check the syntax make sure everything is good and it's green no syntax error so we are good there so i'm um, i'm gonna go ahead and just what's the difference between quick save and save if you do a quick save you will stay on this page right so you can keep modifying it but if you do save it's going to go out and back to the fields again see it's back here and then you're you're good to go so next we've done the if check syntax save okay next create a custom formula field on the opportunity object that displays the region and zone information from the account record so the the label is region slash zone so it's a formula returning text right? okay because it's in text let's create a new formula new is a text formula field so it's formula remember that first formula and then region zone is returning a text okay returning text so what the user will see is a text there so the formula is this you can copy this so basically what it's doing is it's text of the account region right text returns text because what is account what if what is a uh, account region let me pop up a new setup tab over there and if i go to account object here fields if i search for region region right oh let me just i don't want the details of it i just want to see it's also a pick list right because it's a pick list data type and you just want the value the value of the pick list for that particular record because you just want the value you choose text text of the account region so if this is uh if you're picking a field on your own right you need to know what, how do i get this stuff so text of you can insert field choose the account there account and then you can scroll this is all the available fields for the account object so you is alphabetically sorted so if it's an r region is under r there region and you can insert there you go it's the same thing right same thing with zone if i take this out so i want to get the account zone so first is the opportunity object because we are working on this opportunity object what is related to this opportunity oh it's the account every time you see this um, arrow greater than right is arrow it's a related so you can pick the field under the account same thing with contract and then created by right and then last modified by price book this is the price of the opportunity the campaign source every time you see that arrow you can uh, you know uh, 
dig into it further. Same thing with here. You can keep going like this. Another arrow, right? See? Uh, for example, uh, Dun & Bradstreet Company. And uh, what else do we have here? That's pretty much it. So basically, uh, you can keep digging and you can pick what field you want to use in, in this particular formula you are building. So in this particular uh, case, we want to get the zone account and then Z zone at, at the bottom because it's alphabetically ordered account zone. There we have it. So check syntax screen is good to go. So let's see who can see this one. This one can be seen by... So that's that description. Oh yeah, we want to get the description and the help task first. Um, this one actually. So description and help text there. Next, who can see this? Do they mention who needs to see this? Uh, it doesn't say, does it? Let me check. No, it doesn't say. Next, you create the formula account amount. So it doesn't say. So let's do it the same as the previous one. Okay. So let's just say everybody cannot see it, but sales user and sys admin. And it's on the page layout and save. Okay. Next is discount percentage. So this would be just a percent data type and it's not even a formula. So we are going to create a new field, just a normal field, not a formula field. It's called discount percentage and the data type is percent. I'm going to close this one so it's not confusing. The data type is percent. This guy here and then next. Field label, discount percentage, and then how many fields? Uh, three for length, just three. And decimal place, let's make it two. Because usually we want like, you know, a decimal point there. Does it say? It doesn't even say, right? So, okay. It doesn't even description and help text. We don't need that. So I'm just going to hit next. Everybody can see, I oh know everybody cannot see, but the sales user and the sys admin because it did say that. See, sales user and sys admin. And I'm going to hit next and I'm going to hit save. Okay, next up is a new formula field amount after discount. So, what is the opportunity amount after it's being discounted? So, it would be a currency formula return type. All right, currency. So new field, and it's a formula. Amount after discount, it's a currency. Let's have it two decimals. It doesn't say, but I like two decimals. That's standard. So what is the actual formula? It's the amount of the opportunity multiplied by one minus the percent uh, discount percent. That makes sense. Okay, it's a math calculation so this is the actual amount of the opportunity multiplied by for example the discount is 20% um, so amount multiplied by 80% that would be the discounted um, af amount after discount right make sense so do we have a description and help text yeah we do and that's the last formula Description is this. Make sure there is no extra line there. And the help text would be this. No extra line. Okay, next. And everybody can see it. Uh, everybody cannot see it. But sales and sysadmin. Is that what they want? They don't say, but I'm, I'm just going to make it similar. Okay, next and save. So that's all. We've created a few formula fields and one percent discount field. And that's pretty much it. 
Well, there is a whole lot more to formulas. How, how would you know how to use every single one of them? By your flight time, so to speak. By the how many times you're creating a formula field. It's just by experience, you know. By experience, so you need to create something and then you wonder, mm, how do I do that? One big tip is it's always been created already most of the time. So just Google it. So if you need to create a formula that looks complicated, you want to accomplish something, Google it first. Somebody else, most likely 90% of the time, has already created the formula you need. So you don't have to waste your time and recreate everything from scratch. Most of the time, it's already built or you can modify something very similar. You just modify the, the formula. So that's a big tip from me. Whenever you're creating a formula, don't try to create something from scratch. You're going to waste your time like two hours, maybe if it's complicated. And somebody else has already did it. So you just can use the formula that has already been made or modify them. Okay, that's all. Let's get the point and I'll see you on the next one. Let's get the point. The next one would be create record types. That would be simple as well. Bada bing, bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom